had sent me when I was telling Stevie out there. I mean, we were at the time one under par, and I was in 15th or 17th spot. A little different than last week at one under par. Um, so, you know, you don't have to you don't have to go super low here, and just kind of plod your way along, make a few birdies here and there. And, um, if you get on a little stretch like I did and make two in a row, boom, all of a sudden. Um, you're in eighth place. And that's what this golf course allows you to do. And it plays very similar to a major championship. And, um, I think that's one of the reasons why guys love playing here. Well, they've hosted a major championship here. So. No, it's been a success to come back and play. To come back and play again and to play as, as consistent as I've played um, this year, considering how I felt in the very beginning of the year, I didn't know. Um, and from what I was uh, playing through the last year during the Open, I thought that was similar to how I was going to be feeling coming back this year. I didn't know. Uh, all that was an unknown starting out the year. And how long would it take for me to get my game back after taking the, you know, such a long time away from it and uh, having some you know some big adjustments you had to make because I've never had a late feel this one. Would you say you're a <clears throat> Absolutely. Absolutely. Win four times. I don't think anyone would have seen that for sure. I know you guys didn't. <laughs> well that's one of the reasons why I didn't play much very beginning of the year it was to make sure that I was healthy and fresh and didn't have any setbacks in the knee throughout the year so I could play this this stretch to play a lot towards the end of the year but it's kind of the way the, the nature of the new schedule sets it up and I had to be very smart about it and, um, and then make sure that physically I was ready for this this haunt and didn't want to play this this stretch and not not feeling that I could play up to my best um, because of you know, my knee holding me back Absolutely not. No, no, no. I'm, I've, I'm good. That's because of the training the entire year and what we've done is uh, not rush back and not, uh, not put it under too much stress early, which uh, some of the guys have done. I remember talking to Ernie about it. He came back too early and uh, struggled with it for a couple of years. So the, the, like, so yeah, I think last time was a Hoyle, I think. Yeah. Was that the last time? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that I think that was the last time I played. Well. Um, but people have been saying it's yeah, it hasn't been. Yeah, you're right. It's been uh, it's a long time, isn't it? Um, you know, he's uh, he's not not the the new young gun anymore. You know, he's become one of the tour vets. Uh, certainly, the transformation that happens out here. You know, at, uh, as a whole nother generation, you know, Sergio was a generation right behind me, and now there's a whole nother generation with AK and uh, guys at that age, and then there's another one with you know, Danny Lee and, and Rory, uh, who are teens. So um, the game is uh, very healthy, and, and Sergio's had a, you know, I would say, a, a pretty darn good career so far. Perfect par, wasn't it? Four shots. It wasn't that much, actually. It um, I had to started probably halfway between the left edge of the green and uh, the grandstand, and uh, I had a little bit of wind helping off the left. So uh, even out of the rough, it was I could cut it. Um, just a matter of only I didn't want to do was actually overcut it, put it in that bunker because that's uh, that would be dead. Tiger, uh, I said you were plotting along up until a point in time on the back nine. We got a couple of birdies together. Mm -hmm. You were able to score on the back nine. Any difference in the greens that you saw today compared to Luke speaking as anything you've experienced in the past? No, nah, they've, they've actually just slowed up a bit today. You know, we were when we were warming up. Um, I was putt prior to hitting balls and then post and then go play. Uh, they were certainly a little bit quicker, and they definitely slowed up you know, quite a bit as the day went on. Um, a little more humidity in the air, and it definitely had a little bit. Uh, I had to make that a little bit of an adjustment for me. At least I had to make that adjustment. Hit the putts a little bit harder than when I first got on the green this morning. Well, you're talking about the focus out there. So like the only people at your eye are kids. That's the father. Why is it that you get on that? You notice something. 
uh, it, it just, I don't know, kids are so cute. You know, I just, uh, even, you know, before I was a, I was a dad, um, my kids, that's one of the reasons why, you know, I've started my foundation is, is to, to help these kids and you know, to see them out there coming out and, and, and watching us play. And then they get a big kick out of it. And any ball that gets in the air, they just think that's just so cool. So, uh, see, the kids are guys who are really hammered while they do. I think so. I, yeah, I, I, you would have thought. Um, he's being so close. He's been in the final group a few times. He's been right there with a the chance. Um, he had a, a major on, on his putter on the last hole at, at Carnoustie. He hit a good putt. Just didn't go in. But uh, he's been there. He, it just hasn't, hasn't, you know, hasn't got over the hurdle yet, but he's, he's been there. And it's just a matter of time. I mean, uh, Sergio certainly has the talent to do it. Yep.